someone, you know, can talk to them or whatever and help them out. And uh, they will also, like I said, be the investors. They will be the ones, you know, putting up the money for the land. So as part of putting up the money for the land, it will be also be able to, uh, that money will also be able to take care of um, the food and things for, for the uh, use in the Rites of Passage program. The third part is called Afro-Asiatics, Brothers and Sisters on the Way. And what it means on the way is, is Dao. Dao in Chinese means the way or the path. So um, Afro-Asiatic part, the third part, is about um, learning Tai Chi and, uh, and Taoist, what they call Taoist, um, self-healing, breathing, um, diet, sexual kung fu. It's eight parts to, uh, to, um, uh, to the Taoist self-healing, self-healing. You understand? Learn how to heal yourself. You don't need no doctors. Unless you, you know, you chop your arm off or something like that. Other than that, you don't need no doctors. You heal yourself. And once you heal, you shouldn't get sick. Dowers and mortals don't get sick. They just keep going up. We'll get into all that. So it'll be a certification course. We're going to certify through the, through the, through the house of, um, through the house, we're going to certify instructor consultants or consultant instructors for people who want to start a business or career um, teaching Tai Chi and, and Taoist healing. You understand? Everywhere I've been, I've lived in Georgia, Virginia, uh, New York. Now I'm in uh, California. And everywhere I've been, I've been able to make a, you know, eat at least. I haven't pushed it you know, really pushed it like I am now, but everywhere I've been, I've been able to start classes and I've been able to eat. You understand? So if you get certified by us, anywhere you go, you, you go, especially in our hoods, because there's, there are not too many people teaching what I teach in our neighborhoods. You understand? You gotta pay money. You gotta, I had to go downtown in, in uh, you know, in the village and in, in downtown Manhattan to my, to my seafood to learn this stuff. You understand? It was and until I got to Harlem and found out there were there were teachers in Harlem. But for the most part out here in, in different places that I've been, you understand, it's not out. So like I said, Afro-Asiatics means brothers, sisters and brothers on the way, on the path. Um, um, Afro Amirs means uh, um, the family of royals. So Afro we're saying means the people, means family, like um like Afro Ango is um, the people's freedom, royal rites of passage. So again, we have a, you know we have our um, publication, and you can read about what all this means, what where I get the word Ango and all that type of stuff. So those are the three programs. Just those three programs we're going to be uh, pushing. The Afro Amir is just going to be a hundred people. It's not for everybody. A hundred investors. That's going to be mentors, mentors of the youth, as well as the investors, so we can get our land and da 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 da. da. And um, you know, like I said, the sisters and brothers on the way and all that type of stuff. So we have, so in other words, training now, Afro community training incentives now. The incentives is that if you come to me right now, this minute. I can start training you right now. I'm not talking about, well, someday we shall overcome and someday we'll, no. You sign up now, I can start training you right now. I'm gonna be putting out training videos on all this stuff, so you can learn on the internet through our website. Um, uh, as a side thing, we're also putting together a performing troupe. Um, the performing troupe will be called EM2. EM2 stands for the ancient, ah, ah, ancient Egyptian Mysteries Theater University. And what that is, is a way of, is another way of us for us to um, to help us raise funds for the for these programs. And it's a performing troupe. We'll be putting on plays and making movies out of those plays and of course, you know, charging for them so we can uh, raise money. Like I said, um, 
to do our rites of passage programs. So officially tomorrow, which today is the 31st, this is the last day of the year, it's over, it's done. 2015, done. Tomorrow's the first day of the new year, 2016. After 2016 and throughout, the, and throughout this year, we're going to be going through some changes. You understand? Uh, you already see it happening. You understand? Um, so, uh, tomorrow's Friday, and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are having open house here at Perneta Kemet. And then every weekend after that, from 6 to 9 p.m., we're having open house. I will do a lecture on uh, what the rites of passage program and all that stuff. I will do a workshop on self-healing. And the last part, I will do a demonstration on bodies ingo rocking, our, our, our um, warrior art uh, uh, system. And um, so we are located at 745 97th Street in South Central LA, or So Saint La, as I like to call it. And, um, you know, so if you're in the area, you know, come on by during the open house and I'll explain all this stuff to you in detail. And uh, if you want to get down, you know, sign up. If you want your child to get down, sign them up, sign her up. It's for, it's for boys and girls or, or young, young men and young ladies right now. 18, 18 to 21 because they, you know, I, I don't have the space to do young children right now. That will be the living, like I said, the living part later on after we get the land. So if you know somebody interested or if you're interested, no matter where you live, you know, get in contact with us. You understand? Our uh, phone number is 213 352 2543. 213 352 2543. The email is um, Afro Ango, or I'm sorry, I mean, not sorry, I never sorry. Excuse me, I apologize. Um, Afro underscore Ango, A-N-G-O, Ango, at Yahoo. You understand? So email us, give us a call, whatever, if you're interested, or if you just want to donate. This is a um, legal church. We have to call it for tax purposes. I, I changed it to house, but we have to use church officially. So you can go to the website and hit the donate button if you don't want to get down you can give up that cash, you understand? Because this is about the children, it's about the future. I can, I can eat, I don't have to do none of this. I'm, I'm good, I'm living okay right now. I can do this for the rest of my life. Go to the beach, go to Venice Beach, chill out. I don't have to do nothing, never again. I'm straight, you understand? But my ancestors won't let me stop. My ancestors won't let me be quiet. My nephew who died from a crackhead who was killed by a crackhead won't let me be quiet, you understand? Our children are being shot down in the street. Our women being beat up by these pigs. Pigs, you understand? Our, our, you know, our men being killed. For what? Not because we black believe that, you understand? There is some idiots out there that might hate us because of the color of our skin, but there's others out there that's on a higher level right now. They're doing this for a purpose. We'll get into all that, you know, with the people that, that come and be members. You understand? So um, you'll find all that on our website. Uh, like I said, on the website you'll find a free, we'll, we're giving away the first publication, and the publication is called the Afro Angle Forum, Fro dash um on freedom, Forum on freedom, you understand? So the first, um, this month's January, uh, that issue is free, so you can download it, read about the martial art, read about what we're doing, where the name and all that comes from. And the website is www.wix.com. Wix, W-I-X, Wix, 
dot com slash Afro Angle. One word, no underscore, no nothing in the middle. Afro A F R O Angle A N G O. www dot wix um, slash Afro Angle slash Advance. You understand? It's about advancing. Ain't about looking back. You understand? We gonna be talking about slavery. That's part of the rights of passage, but the slavery, we, the way we're going to be talking about it, we're going to change. The rights of passage is about changing the concept of, of what we've been through with slavery. So we say we're, we're taking the middle passage into slavery and transforming it into a rights of passage back to freedom. You understand? Back to our royalties. Back to our royal selves. You understand? So that's what back, back to the land and the rites of passage is all about. You understand? Going back to our, to our original self. Original. You understand? Well, that's another word we call the fro, the original. So we call it the natural, we call it the original, and we call it the fro. So that's it. You understand? So uh, this, that's it. And hopefully I'll be hearing from some of y'all soon. You understand? And um, as I always say, Hetep. Hetep, not Hotep. If you look at the, the way the word is, is spelt in, in what they call hieroglyphics, the letu netter, it starts with the He. Hetep. This is the symbol, a diamond stuck in, in granite. A diamond, that's why we make it shape like this, is a diamond stuck in granite. That means immovable. So what it means, Hatep means peace in the middle of adversity. Whatever we're getting ready to go through, need peace in the mind, peace in the heart. Because we're about to go through some trying times here in America. For those of you who stay here, I'm, I'm getting out. And I'm taking a few people with me. And we're going back to, uh, back to Africa, if you will, if that's what you want to call it. But those of you who want to stay here, we want to buy land here. You understand? Get away from these cities. Come out of her, my people, that you not partake of her sins and her diseases and not partake in them killing you like dogs in the street. You understand? Peace!